jarring to see a very beautiful fish swimming alongside a bag of plastic and that's something that will stick in my mind for a long time. I'm struck here by what we're seeing. There wasn't a single place that we went that wasn't filled with plastic debris. I've been a guide in Indonesia, all over Indonesia, since the last 20 years. And then I can see a lot of change. Now, a lot of plastic just floating around the sea. As hard as it is to see the amount of plastic pollution that's hitting this most beautiful spot I've ever seen on the planet, I am so hopeful and motivated to do more. Uh, walking with the tourism, they start talking about plastic, that it is dirty, and also I read some uh, description about the dangers of the plastic. We cannot wait any longer. The problem is urgent. We need to address it now, otherwise it's going to affect not just our marine biodiversity, our coastal communities, but the economy as well that depends on uh, the tourism a lot. I think that the ocean is communicating with us through the plastic, the materials of our own making, because it's something that humans can understand. Well, I came down here actually to take a water sample to look for microplastics in the water. I just was stopped because, as you can see, this is a wall of so much trash. I mean, it goes 10 feet deep here. A lot of it's photodegraded. You go to pick it up and it just shatters. And that's almost instant microplastics. So I'm feeling a little overwhelmed by the quantity of trash. I don't even know where to begin. I mean, you can't even start to think about cleaning this sort of thing up as an individual. We filled up tons of bags and we still couldn't collect all of it. It was just kept on coming and coming and coming and it made me realize we can't solve this problem by collecting all the plastic that's in the oceans. We need to stop it at the source. Let's not use single-use plastic. That would be, right there, would be such a difference that we could make. That's really, really breaking my heart because my daughter, she started diving, and I'm worried about that maybe on a couple of years later, she's not gonna see that kind of things that I've ever seen before. We, we in the Western world, we say, throw it away. There is no away. It goes somewhere, and this is where it's going. We were able to talk about plastic pollution that was on the beach and even hand out metal straws, demonstrated that by sipping out of the natural spring there to get uh, fresh water. Thank you for your hard work. No, it's not hard work. It's kind of my happiness. It gives you energy. I'm happy to do that, not hard work. A really important value, value which is spirituality. There's magic happening every day in, in, in the universe and nature. We're at a point in our evolution where we're moving into a new phase. We are in a transformational moment. So we have the opportunity right now to make changes, even little by little, day by day, that are gonna spread like wildfire. They're gonna change the face of humanity, and we are just in time to make this change happen, and I know that this is what we need to do. There is too much plastic floating in the sea. If you go and clean it all, it won't change a thing. We do need to change our manners. Hollow spirits in politics We are much to blind the people Living in consumerism Don't be so blind Things will never be the way Where they used to be Shark on a beach in the Philippines was the last one trying to live in a 
Change our hobby. 